I had a couple of questions on how I'm handling kind of a mix bus in Pro Tools for mixing in Dolby Atmos. Now that Pro Tools has expanded track widths that they added in Pro Tools 2023.6, I have changed things up a little bit. So I thought I would just show you that pretty quick and how I kind of set it up and tweak some things. So this is my 916 mix bed, and I'm doing this in the latest version of Pro Tools. Um, to create one of these, you need an input and an output. This is a routing folder that I'm using. And the reason I'm using a routing folder is because I just created this uh, Pro Tools. They actually have some track presets for this. So if I do a new track, if you go under track presets, Avid, Dolby Atmos, and then we can select 916. This is this is exactly how I started to create this. So I'll hit create. And that creates a folder. It's a routing folder and a bunch of auxes underneath it. So first thing it, it does is it's got this input and an output for the IO. And then below, these are all of the sends basically to the renderer. So you've got your 7-1 floor. You can see that's routed to the 7-1-2 bed. Left wide goes to an object. Right wide goes to an object. Those are panned. The object control mode is off right now because I already have some objects assigned to that in this session. But the other thing you can see is this 916 out. All of these these auxes here have an input and it's set to a version of that 916 out. So if I find that, so see like this one's going to the left wide, but you can see here, there's also the right wide, left top front, right top front, left top middle, right top middle, etc. So I just started my whole thing, creating it off of that track preset. And then I just rename some things. So now let's take a look at the one I created. So here is my mix bed. And then here are the folders below. And one of the things that I changed was, hold on, let's make these bigger. One of the things I changed was I, I combined some of the objects, some of the routing. So I have stereo auxes and these are just auxes and for me it's just easier to create the stereo and then i've got the panning so for example here's the wides wides go to 68 in a 9.1 setup these are the positions of the extra speakers that go to the wide speakers that are between your left front and your left side and your right front and your right side. So that's part of why I have the 916 versus the 714. Um, the other thing, the mid output here goes to the bed overheads. So basically, it just gives me access to all of these positions with a regular Pro Tools track panner routed to my mix bed. Now, one other thing I changed, if I go into I.O. setup under my mix bed. So this is the input into that mix bed. I created a sub path which is just a quad. And you can see here, I've got my left top and right top fronts and the left top and right top rears. So this is just a quad uh, sort of input into that bus. And the reason I have that is for some of my quad reverbs. So if I jump up to here, I have a quad reverb that basically just hits the top. It's a, it's a way for me to put reverb on stuff and have the reverb only up in the ceiling, which is fun to do. And the input for that is that well, I've inputs a quad top verb, but the output, if I go into bus, there it is, is that mix bed quad. And that basically, it's the only way that I found to 
sort of route it straight to the tops when you have um, when you have a bus like this that is bigger than stereo, you have to kind of do a little more work to get it to route properly. But that hits in this mix bed just like everything else routed to it. So one other thing I want to mention, because somebody else had asked about this, I have a couple of folders here. So there's the bed masters and the object masters. And inside of these folders are basically, these are master faders that apply to everything that sends to the renderer. Um, I have a VCA assigned to that on my control surface here. And if you watch the level right now, you can see it going up. So I have all these masters. This way, if you know I'm really close to being in spec on something and I'm a dB or two off, I can just trim it with the masters and it's a lot easier than trying to do it uh, somewhere else on all the tracks or with the mix bed or it, it it's just it simplifies things. The other thing is it gives me a way if I want to kind of EQ everything, I can just throw EQs on the bed channels and the object channels that I'm using and I can sort of EQ everything that's going to the renderer that way. Um, I also use the master fader on the LFE. This is where I'm doing my filtering for the LFE. Filtering the LFE is highly advisable from Dolby. So that's where I do that. So I uh, hope that helps answer some questions. If you have more questions about this, there's something I didn't explain because I kind of went fast. Um, leave a comment and I'll try and get back to you. So thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon.